I have a lot of friends in this room. Thank you. That's a very fancy-looking table. Major cities. Just two days ago, with the help of DEA, ICE, and the FBI, we have such incredible people. And you saw this. Federal prosecutors secured a conviction against the leader of the Sonola cartel, Joaquin Guzman, or El Chapo. He is now looking at a lifetime behind bars. And I have to say, the prosecutors did an incredible job. Eastern District, incredible job. A lot of people did a great job with that. But to defeat these transnational gangs, we must fully and completely secure the border. That means more law enforcement, closing legal loopholes, ending catch and release, ending sanctuary cities, and finishing the border wall, which we will do, which we will do. We're very far along, building a lot of it right now as we speak. As we review the new proposal from Congress, I can promise you this. I will never waver from my sacred duty to defend this nation and its people. We will get the job done. The wall is very, very uh, on its way. It's happening as we speak. We're building as we speak in the most desperately needed areas. And it's a big wall. It's a strong wall. It's a wall that people aren't going through very easy. They're going to have to be in extremely good shape to get over this one. <laughs> they would be able to climb Mount Everest a lot easier, I think. But it's happening. And we have other things happening, too. We're strengthening up the ports of entry. We're using tremendous technology, including drones, but tremendous technology. But it all hinges around the walls, because you don't have the walls. The technology is almost useless. Extraordinary law enforcement officials and personnel all across our nation.